princess by name, princess by nature. This young lady, one, two, stepped into our lives. Very greedy about her cookies when she insisted they stay in the jar. Not just that, she also taught you how to act like a boy. And not to mention showing us the birds and the bees with love, sex and magic. Yes, it is Sierra and she is back with Jackie. How are you? That's awesome. That was a really sweet introduction. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're Happy welcome. to be here. Thank you. Thank you for being here as well. And um, I've been doing my research and something that I found that was quite interesting about you is that you lived in quite a few different places growing up and one of them was Germany as well. How was yeah. that experience for you? Living in Germany was really fun um, because there I am. Um, it was really different, you know, coming from Atlanta and then living in Germany. It's not like I was living somewhere in the States. I went somewhere completely, clearly foreign. And um, it was great, though. I think it allowed me to really have a cool outlook on life and, like, how the world is so big, you know, and how everyone, to me, I, I, I think traveling and be, staying in places like that allowed me to see everyone as the same. I didn't separate people by the race. I didn't separate, separate people by where they're from. Like we're all the same. Super cool. Definitely. Sierra, it's been quite a journey from goodies to I got you. And I kind of feel like we've kind of witnessed the journey with you, so to speak. And um, I would say to you, how do you think each step of the journey has affected or even changed both your approach to the industry and making music? You know what? Um, every step along the way, I, an experience I've gained wisdom. And I think that's just the greatest the greatest thing of all um, because now I know things a lot better and I'm way more familiar with my environment and being in the music industry because in the beginning it was like a whole it was a, it was a whole new animal a whole new beast to um to um you know face and um now I've figured out this world that I'm in and it's honestly I really I really wake up feeling like I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do and I feel like I'm doing doing the coolest thing for me um, but yeah, now I understand things better, mm. and that makes a world of a difference. Definitely. And um, speaking of the track I got you, um, a very beautiful track by the way to your son. I, you. I loved it. And um, there were some really um, deep lines when they were talking about walking on glass for your son, taking a call oh, for yeah. your son. And even specifically, there was, there was a line that I remember that said, um, some t uh, life throws you on the track sometimes, yes. friends may stab you in the back sometimes. Yes. And I felt when I listened to that, you may have been speaking from experience. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I definitely have my, my um, share of experiences in life where my friends have, you know, they feel like I've been betrayed by a friend. Um, and, um, you know, life definitely has its adversities. You know, you definitely, are, I've, I've definitely been faced with challenges. And um, that's just the reality of life. And it really is about what you do at that moment, you know, and how you figure out how to turn that challenge or that adversity. How do you, feel like, how do you figure out how to turn it around for you? and to help you keep going forward versus like allowing it to defeat you or take you down, so yeah. Cool. You made a statement recently where you said um, having a baby has given you more sexy confidence. Oh yeah. What, I, what did you mean when you said that? Because I found it quite interesting. Um, I think after having a baby, you just feel like, I just feel like even more tougher. Yeah. Um, um, and the, the, my baby's nine pounds in ounces. Wow. So um, he's pretty big. So I kind of felt like a little, I got some super powers that happened after <laughs> I had my son. Um, that gives me a really cool confidence. You know, I, I, um, I, I don't know, there's something about, you know, going through that process that really does, it, it, it I, I was, I really became more in tune with my inner, um, my, with my confidence. I, I became more, more confident. Um, May, way more relaxed um, and just way more comfortable and I think all of that kind of like that's a form of sexiness to be you know sexiness doesn't mean it has to be like you know like that kind of sexy but <laughs> the confidence you know confidence breeds sexy to me like confidence is sexy so um yeah I don't know I'm way more confident than I've ever been I like that I like that and um I was on an old school tip the other day and I was doing some research I just wanted to hear some old music yeah and I, so I went to YouTube and um one of the songs that came back to my mind was ATL, Make It Up With Love. Now, I put, on, I put it on and I remember watching the video and I was like, oh yeah. ATL, Make It Up With Love. Yeah. Was I in that video? You were in that okay, video yeah, and as a, as a yeah, young man. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I completely forgot that Sierra was in this video, but I was going to say to you, was that before your musical journey started? Oh yeah, it's funny because we were all like in the, we're working with the same production team. So um, we were all super cool. That's how I ended up being in their video. 
um, and that was super um, funny, you know, because the boys are super yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. you know, and we're really like brothers. So yeah. it's funny when you actually like play a lead, yeah. you know, um, to someone that you your, know, yeah, that. your yeah. boys, you know. But it was super cool, you know. It was our way of trying to like cross brand and cross market each other or the company's way, and so it was pretty pretty fun. Then. Very smart thing to do. And do you feel like at that time? Um, with you being so young but being around the um, industry like that, do you feel there was always something that you were destined to do? Well, I was already working as an artist then. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's how that all kind of happened. Um, but I've always believed in myself. You know, I've always been a big dreamer and um, I can definitely say a lot of things that I dreamed of have come true and a lot of things that I've envisioned have come true. And so, yeah, I've always envisioned all the cool things that are happening, happening. And, 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 and it's happened and then some, so yeah. That's cool. And um, me personally, as I've got older, I've started to kind of realize that um, equality needs to be for all people. Like, I, I think I started changing my mentality in regards to I can't just wish for some people that I'm interested in to have equality and not others. Mm -hmm. And so I was quite interested by the fact that you showed quite a support um, for the same-sex marriage laws in the U.S. Oh, absolutely. Do you feel that's something that's quite important? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's so funny because I have people that I work with um, that are part of the LGBT community. and. Um, you know, it's, it's really important to me, you know, to spread love and, you know, I don't believe in judging and I don't believe in separating again, you know, um, everyone, we all have fun the same way, you know, we all enjoy ourselves, you know, we're hanging around, no, nothing is different, you know, and so I don't like to, um, I like to, you know, support people, like I like to, um, you know, support movements like that, you know, it's so, so cool when I ask my, someone on my team, I said, how are you today? And she said, oh, I'm so happy, I'm, I'm going to get married. And I was like, that's so sweet, you know. Um, so yeah, that's how I see things. That's good. And um, the new album, um, I had a listen, I liked it. Um, two tracks that I liked especially, um, Let's um, Dance Like We're Making Love. Yeah. I like that track a lot. Thank and um, also Fly, because yeah, Fly reminded me a little bit song. of One Two Step a little bit. It it's reminded so me a little bit fun. like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I felt like the album was really cool. And one thing that I also um, say that I really, really caught my attention was the intro, the BMF intro. Oh, yeah. And two things that stood out to me is when you shouted out Harmony. And for people that don't know, Harmony Samuels is from London, UK, he and um, he's doing massive things in music in America and in music as a whole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the second thing was the fact that you were repeating, I'm a bad mofo, like numerous times. And it kind of made me feel like, see, I was getting ready to hit me in the head with this oh, album. She's gosh. getting ready. Is that, is that kind of like what the intention was? Well, you know what? It's definitely um, a very, I think the album is in your face a little bit. And, um, you know, again, it's like, you know, I, I right away I definitely wanted to um, I wanted for you to just kind of get the tone. I want to set the tone, and BMF was a perfect way. You know, it was one of those songs that I had done. Um, I I just was reflecting everything. And I was like, I, like I said earlier, I was like, I just live with nine pounds ten ounce baby, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm a bad mother. Like you know, I thought about everything though, yeah, not yeah, just yeah. In, on top of having my huge baby. Um, I sort of, I was reflecting on everything, and I was like, wow, you know, my journey, I've, I, the, all that I've been through, the good, the bad, everything. I'm like. You know, and, and to still be so excited about life and to still feel like there's so much more that I have to do and, you know, having my, having my baby and all these things, it just made me feel so confident and so excited and so proud. And so that song was a reflection of that energy. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of start the party off like yeah, that, yeah. you know, and or start the album off that way and um, it, was, it felt right, you know, so, yeah. So, yeah, Jackie is your mother's name, right? Yeah. Jack, yes it is. <laughs> yeah. And um, so was the album uh, a, a dedication to your mom or what was the thinking behind the title? Yeah, this this album, um, the title definitely came, it was inspired from me being a new mom. And now I, I understand what it's like to have to um, see the world from my mom's perspective. And um, you know, it's, it's definitely, um, it was just the best title. You know, I feel like I'm a mini Jackie now, you know. I also understand why my mom said no to a lot of things too. Um, you know, I used to think that she was saying no just to say no, and now I've learned that she was being protective, and you know, and that was a motherly instinct in her, you know, for a lot of things and a lot of decisions that she made for me as a child. So I finally understand what all of that was, what, yeah. what all, how all of that felt for her. It's true. I can imagine it being an amazing experience as well, kind of going oh, through yeah. yourself. Oh yeah, super cool. And um, one thing that I was going to say to you as well, you might not remember, uh, but I remember, but about. Oh, I think it was in 2013. I actually hosted the um, headline show that you did over here oh, in wow. London by Music Allies. And um, at that show, actually, we took a very nice picture 
Yeah, a very <clears> nice picture. Wow. And I, I put it on my Instagram, and it got loads of people um, coming up with some crazy comments and crazy captions because we look, we, we, we both look quite nice in the picture. So funny. Yeah? And so what I thought would be quite cool is we play a game, and I call it Triple C. Yeah? Okay. And it stands for Ciara's comments or captions. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you All the right. picture. And okay. I want you to tell me what kind of comments <laughs> or captions you give it. So you can see here, we're both looking Aww, rather, rather attractive. That's so cool. Everyone look at this, look. You can see. That's fine. I'm getting my, my tree songs on. Oh and, gosh, um, so and funny. And you're there as well. So if you were to give it three comments or captions, what would they be? I would say, um, well, this, I was, a, I looked like I was young, but it wasn't too long ago. Nah, two years like ago. Probably, yeah, two years ago. Yeah. Um, I would say cool. This is a cool photo. It is. Um, like rock stars. Ooh. Um, I like. My shirt is very funny. I know yeah. I got that shirt from Top Shop actually. It's yeah. a super rich mind. Yeah. I'm not sure what message I was trying to deliver here it was um, with this shirt, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I had a rich mindset, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, looks like fun, you know. It was. Yeah. It, it was, was a, a very fun good time. Show. Yeah. Very good cool. show. I, I, I do remember exactly where that was. Too. Yeah, it was, it was after the show. Yes. Yeah. Backstage, <clears throat> and that was after you brought um, a few people on stage doing dances, and it was crazy. Oh yeah, that was fun. It was crazy. It yeah, was crazy. really fun. Yeah. Wicked. Well, so you're, I want to say thank you for your time. Of course. Um, it's been an amazing uh, moment to have you here with us as well. Um, I've enjoyed the interview. I hope you have too. Yes, and I, I wished you all the success with Jackie. I wish you all the success. I receive all that good energy. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you again. Guys, it is Sierra, myself, Aaron, it's SBTV, and until next time. Hey, you guys, it's Sierra. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you hit subscribe so that you never miss a video.